we're here in a fine Mexican eatery. Uh, <laughs> it's about two o'clock. We're still in Brooklyn. Adam's here with me. Right. Yeah, he's decided to have a, uh, a beer for breakfast, uh, along with some other food stuff. But it's called know. Bohemia. So, yeah, so it's it's not a Bohemia. Bohemia beer, which is uh, I I see it is backwards on the full screen, but. So as I said, it's about 2 o'clock, which means that the YouTube meetup's been going on for about 3 hours now. And uh, personally, I'm hoping that the people that I want to see, and, you know, it sounds like an attraction. I want to see, I want to see the monkeys, I want to see the seals, and I want to see the nults. I want to meet nults, because, uh, a little bitter they didn't comment on my, my birthday video. He's a busy man. I just wanna, I, I'd like to meet a couple of people that I've been watching for a long time. And, uh, you know, I just think it's gonna be a really fun experience. So, uh, like probably everyone there, we're documenting this little thing on uh, video. So, later on, we'll have footage with uh, various people that no one outside of YouTube gives a shit about. Take the breath of my house and the chickens, how they rattle chicken chains. Are you taking a picture? Yeah. I want to cast that. But did he just get lighter in the sun? Something's yeah, not right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I plan that uh, at some point I'm just gonna like make a video where between the jump heads I can switch shirts. Like, yeah, I thought it was like a slight shade off and back and forth. Yeah, group continuity. Yeah, it's on my video. Free form, man. What do you think of pop tarts? Oh, shoot. Really? Yeah. Is that the thing? That's the thing. Okay. Are we getting paid for this? The pop no, we just have five pop shots. Okay. My kids are freaking like crap for the kids. Okay. Toasted, frozen, regular. Frozen? Doesn't even matter. Frozen? I never thought of frozen. Oh, frozen. Freaking frozen. frozen. Uh, then, then it was as if the pop tarts weren't sweet enough. Now they're like caking them with sugar, and then they're jamming Snicker bars on top of the pop tart <laughs> and pouring friggin' honey. And then breading them in deep fry. And then deep fry. I used to put frosting on them when I was a kid. Chocolate. Oh, did you? Well, now, they, did you? Yeah. Well, now they already have the frosting on them. The consensus seems to be toasted. How can you not like friggin' pop tarts? That's like un-American. You know, I, I, no, 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 I love them, but they hurt my face. Burn it, burn. Bernie. Okay, Bernie, let's ask Bernie. Here. Bernie, quick question for you. When you're eating your pop tarts, and this will tell you a lot about um, your philosophy of life. 
do you eat the little rim part and then yes. work your way? Okay. Yeah. So no. That's called exactly. that's called delayed gratification. And I try to teach my kids to kind of hold out for the sugar. Yeah. yeah. And you then, have to eat the crappy part first. Yes. That's get it over with. Yes. And then the problem is if you die, then you never get to the good part. Uh, you know? It's like if you put one if you, like when you put your sock, do you put one sock on and then the other sock and then the shoe and then the shoe? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the story of the new Video. Listen, this is what you do. Yep. Put the thing on. <laughs> Call pop stars. Say yep. so you want two grand for it. That's my, that's my plan. Yep. That's my plan. Yep. There we go. Product yep. placement. That's the way of the future. That's the way of the future. What do you think of pop tarts? Huh? Pop tarts. What do you think of pop tarts? Chicken and quacka. I I agree. changes in New York City. Um, they were recently drafted up and it states that if you have a camera and you set it up in a public place for more than five minutes, you could potentially be arrested if you don't have a permit reliability insurance. Um, these were just drafted up. They take, uh, they go into effect in about trying to get people to call into the mayor's office and um, tell them that you're against people who are tourists. Um, just filming in public locations, it would stop a city journalist, guerrilla style filmmaking YouTubers. If this were to take place a month from now, this event, we could have all been arrested. So um, please call in. The number for um, Mike Bloomberg's office is, uh, where is it? You can dial, you're in the media area. If you're not in New York, you can dial 212 New York. Or you can call the Mayor's Office of Film and Theater and Broadcasting at 212-849-6710. Please call and tell them that you are opposed to these laws. Exactly, yeah. So anyone who, uh, you know, eventually I am going to post a super up on my channel. So a lot of that was shot just like sitting on the street with a camera. So, you know, if you want me to keep on making any kind of movies, I'm pleading you, please come up this stuff out. Make Make sure that this does not happen. All right. Cool. All right. I've taken the liberty of recording this last little bit with my webcam. There have been a couple of problems with the uh, uploading from my camera to my computer, and when I went back and tried to upload it again, it was the same problem. So I apologize if it was a little choppy here and there. I had a lot of fun at 777. I met a couple of good people, and I wish all of the interviews had come out. Um, I was not able to get uh, interviews with Happy Slip or Aaron Yonda onto the tape, onto the, uh, the finished video, nor my interviews with um, Sup Ricky or Charles Trippy or Mikma. Mikma? But. I don't think that the YouTube meetup itself was so much about making the videos as it is the people behind the videos. I know this is all that idealistic bullshit. Uh, YouTube is bringing the world together, but I don't know, I guess I do believe it in some certain ways. So it's been about a month since 777, and I think uh, I've uploaded one video uh, in the past couple weeks. And I short and sucked, even though Amanda was on it, because she's going to go, oh, but I was on it, so I couldn't have sucked. Women, right? I had a lot of fun at 777, and I really hope that in the future, at some point, there is another YouTube meetup that I can go to and uh, enjoy, and maybe uh, I'll know more of the people next time, because I felt kind of at a loss. With some people, there were certain people that I knew them, I had heard of them, but I had never actually seen their videos, and I think I need to get out there and check out more people's content if I want to even attempt to claim to be any part of the YouTube uh, community. In the description, I'm going to post a link to uh, whatever I can find on the internet about that law or whatever it is that's coming into effect about 
not being able to set up a camera on the street because that's something that I really do feel strongly about. It's complete bullshit and it's basically killing a lot of the, you know, the possibilities for upcoming, not even upcoming, aspiring filmmakers. It's kind of cutting them off right at the nipping in the bud and all that, whatever. And I think that, you know, if you can't have an environment that allows you to grow in whatever type of art you do, then there's going to be, in a couple of years, no, or not as many professional artists left coming out of certain areas, you know, because not everyone can afford five, six hundred dollars to buy a million dollar insurance policy to do a one day shoot when, you know, your budget might be two hundred dollars or less. I know I shot my movie for like a hundred bucks total. So check that out and I'm gonna shut the fuck up now. Go and watch someone else's video. Go watch some nults. He has enough subscribers, but you, you know, this shit's always funny. I love him. So dreamy.